the friends in Christ, welcome to the Tuesday of the first week of Lent. The sacrament of baptism particularly brings us into a special relationship as adopted children of God in Christ. Whatever the color or race, whatever the language or creed, God is for all. The coming of Jesus into the world is effectively the coming of the kingdom of God into our midst. We are called then to be participants in this kingdom by the manner of our lives. Our gospel reading today is from Matthew chapter 6, verses 7 to 15. The passage is both an instruction and a prayer. In it, Jesus asks us never to waste time like area boys who think by heaping up praises they can move a rich man to give them some money. So he tells us, in praying do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Jesus says, your father knows what you need before you ask him. It might look funny then that sometimes people get up to pray and they search for as many names as possible for Jesus. They want to move him before mentioning any need at all. Jesus gave us a format of prayer. Sometimes a lack of faith makes people depart completely from the format only to ask for the death and destruction of their enemies Our Father, who art in heaven, calls us to look unto God with faith as our common Father and to look up to heaven as our true home where our Father dwells. Hallowed be thy name is a prayer that we have the necessary grace to keep God's name holy, thereby fulfilling the first and second commandments. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, invites us to accept Jesus in our lives as the one who makes present the kingdom of God in the world. By that, we can live by his teaching and do the will of God here on earth as we look to the eternal kingdom of heaven as our true home. Give us this day our daily bread is both a prayer and an instruction to trust in divine providence and to seek our daily bread and needs with consideration for others. Man does not live by bread alone, but on the words of God. And forgive us our trespasses. This is an invitation to trust in the mercy of God who forgives, but it is also a clear acknowledgement of our human weakness, which calls us to do all things possible to avoid falling. This, however, comes with a condition. As we forgive those who trespass against us, Jesus did not ask us to pray for the death of our enemies. Instead, he asks us to love them. One can only hope to be forgiven if one is ready and truly making efforts to forgive. One who does not forgive, therefore, wastes his time hoping he will be forgiven. And lead us not into temptation. We face temptations daily from every angle. Not falling at all requires the grace of God. If we happen to fall, God's compassion envelops us with his mercy. Deliver us from evil. Even if we walk in the valley of darkness, even if there are enemies planning evil, God is our light and he keeps us safe. We must ask for that every day because it is his grace. Let us pray. Lord, teach us to pray, and when we pray, answer us. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.